Hello. In this tutorial we will show you how to use PDF index generator in the command line mode. The command line mode is an extension for PDF index generator, in order to allow executing the program from the command line, to use one command line only or a script file, to index one or more books without any interaction needed from the program interface. You can run the program in the command line mode in any operating system. First we will show you how to create a book index using a command line in Windows DOS, then we will create the same index using a script file, so you can learn how to use both. To run the command line in Windows 7 operating system, click the start menu. All programs. Accessories. Command prompt. We will start by browsing to where the program is installed. By default the program is installed in this path. CD C Program Files PDF Index Generator Now we will index this book only. With the following indexing specifications. We will exclude the first seven pages from the book, as they are not important. We will specify a number of exclude categories to exclude. We will use the stylish template in writing the index to the book. We will write the output index to a new PDF file. And, we will print the final indexing report in the command line to see what happened. You can learn about the command line parameters from our online help page, found in this URL. Here is the command line we will use. We will copy and paste it in the command line. Let's review it to understand it. Java, negative jar, PDF index generator dot exe. This will run the program. CMD. This is an abbreviation for command line, and it will run the program in the command line mode. You must try this, or the program will run in the interface mode. Input PDF path. This is the path of the book to index, C, books, mybook.pdf. Exclude pages. This will specify the pages to skip indexing them. Exclude cat. This will specify the categories of words to exclude. Template name. This will specify the template name to use in writing the book index. Output new PDF path. This is used to write the output index to this new PDF file path. Print index report. This will print the indexing report in the command line, after the indexing is complete. Let's click enter to execute the index. Done. Success. And you can check the final index report to see what happened. Let's check the output index. That's good. Now, let's index all the books found in this folder using a script file, or which we call, a configuration file. Here is our configuration file, each parameter in a separate line. This is the path of the folder to index all the PDF books inside it. And this is the output folder. It is an empty folder we have created, and the program will create and save each book index inside it. Let's run this index script through the command line. Here is the command to use. 
we will just run the program in the command line mode, and define the configuration file path to it through this parameter, and let the program process it. It is now indexing the first book. The second book. And now the third book. Done. All books were indexed successfully. And we can check the output indexes in the output folder. As you can see, using PDF index generator in the command line mode is very useful, especially to index a number of books at the same time with the same indexing options. You can check our help page for more command line parameters and examples. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.